Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Kids Python Challenge. So, okay, let's check where we were last time. So, yeah, we tried started to draw a circle using some small shapes like squares or triangles. This is what we drew last time. So let's see the open the notebook in collab. Check so E three. Uh, let's connect and then uh, pip install the first box. In the meantime, let's see. So, uh, yeah, it was like this. We drew a um, circle with lots of, um, I don't know how many, uh, uh, lots of triangles. And then, after trying a triangle, square, and hexagon, um, lastly, we try to generalize that using polygon function. Okay, let's copy this. Okay, let's see. Let's copy the some part of it. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, down to polygon and copy it in a new cell here. Okay, so make a new box and paste it. And actually we don't need this square, triangle, hexagon. What we need is definition of, let's see, initialization. Maybe we, yeah, and the definition of polygon. Maybe we can write this right after this. So um, today, Ah, right. What was the assignment? Draw with stars, I see. Okay, maybe we can we can just write it here. So oh star is not a polygon, so maybe we can uh use it. So I hope you remember still remember how to draw a star. Five and T forward size. And then the left, what was the length? Uh, what was the angle? Uh, it was like 180 minus 360, 336. I guess this is correct. And then maybe change this. Okay, comment this out. And instead, write star like size 30. Let's try that. Let's see uh, how many point ten. Okay, so let's let's write with ten stars. Hmm. Let's draw with ten stars. Okay, what's wrong? Star star function and size is not defined. Maybe side. Okay, this is side. Okay, right, let's run it. Okay, so fine. Uh, there are 10 stars, colorful in, in five colors, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, four, five colors. Okay, good, good enough. So, so it was so easy. Okay, so today's part, go on to today's slide. So drawing polygons, so, so let's try to see how polygons like depending on the name of vertices, okay? Onto the same position. So let's draw um, say polygons, maybe from say three to, um, for example, 15 in the same position, um, like this. Okay, in that case, maybe we'd better uh, right in the beginning. So, okay. So, because usually the um, the turtle turtle is heading north in the beginning. Maybe we the go the uh, in the direction of east first, and then the polygon. Maybe. Um, to make it easier, we can 
right pen down here. And after drawing pen up here. Okay. Maybe instead we can write pen down and pen up. Hmm. Actually, uh, so what was this? For I in range, as I said, let's try from three to 15 continuously, polygon, say, um, let's draw it uh, like size, side N is I, right? And size is, let's try first with 50, okay? And let's see how it looks like. Is this what we want? Mm, 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 good. Interesting. Okay, maybe it is good. Okay, is it same as this? Mm, maybe this guy is using thinner pen. So maybe we will use with this one. And then let's try up to 20. Okay, so. Maybe we can use pen with us of one, and then we will do this up to 20. Uh, just in case we will go down a little. So let's see, uh, what can we do? Maybe to, we, we can go to uh, default, but it was, 425, 250. So uh, let's see. So let's pull down 400, 400. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, good. Ah, I see. Before, before moving, maybe I'd better end up. Okay, that's it. Okay, so good. Triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, uh, I don't know, um, polygon seven, polygon, heptagon, octagon, notagon, I don't know. Yeah, so the, what is the observation here? Okay, we have two observation is that as I becomes larger, it looks like more like a circle. The other one is it's big, becoming bigger, okay? So how to draw in the nearly same size? Okay, maybe to draw it, we want the size of a circle to be kind of fixed. So how, we, how can we do that? Think about it, stop the video and think about it. Okay, the idea is this. Maybe we want common perimeter circumference for each shape, for all the shapes. So what is, how can we do that? Okay, the perimeter of a polygon is maybe S times N where S is length of size and N is the number of size. And this should be constant. And this should be constant like, suppose the ultimate circles radius is R, it should be like two times 3.1 well, pi times R. So that means S should be two times pi times R over N. So let's try that, okay? Let's use 3.14 as pi, okay? So let's see what happens if change the ultimate R is like, hmm, say 100. And then we can change this length is, should be okay, this one, okay? 
So it should be this one instead of just fixed number. So it should be two times 3.14 times R divided by I. Okay, to make it more easier to understand, we use instead of n, we use n. We, instead of i, the running number is changed to n. Okay, so let's see how it looks like. Okay. Good, good. So it's, it's like, it's, yeah, as we get, draw with larger ends, it becomes almost the same size. Well, triangle square, in the beginning, it was like a little exceptional, strange position, but it becoming converges to maybe correct um, position and size. Good. So what's next? Draw polygons, triangles to polygon 14. I don't know what what that is called in English, on a grid. So, okay, anyway, we now know we can draw polygons almost in the same size. So try to do this on a grid. Radius, 50, com commonly 50, and on horizontally, the interval is 204 in one row. And Y interval is 150, and three in um, three car, yeah, three lines. Okay, stop the video and try yourself. Okay, so let me try. Okay, this time maybe we can copy this and paste it in your box. Okay, so. Um, we go to, we don't need this. So R is 50. Okay, this time we use R50. Okay, and then we don't need this. Okay, so um, maybe we use N as a running variable for three uh, polygon vertex number side number. And then remember we learned how to um, draw things in, in a grid. So maybe we use two folds for, so, so the inner, inner loop is for i in range four. Am I right? Uh, X interval 240, okay. So um, maybe X equals, say, let's start from 100. And then uh, <clears throat> draw polygon. Okay, that's right. Uh, T go to say, ah, right. Y is fixed to, Hundred, okay. So go to x, y, and then polygon. Draw polygon like this. Draw polygon n in the same size with r, okay. And then what's next? Uh, increment x by 200, okay. So this will draw a line of polygons from three to, okay, let's, let's check. Ah, okay. So maybe we need a little larger Y, 150 maybe, okay. And then, we need, uh, let's see, hmm. increment n. 
by one each time. Okay, so this should write. Good, good, good. So what's next? So we want this. We want this one, as we know, each time for J in range three, this one, and the increment is 150. Okay, so, and then we select here, tab once so that it will indent. And then after writing, after finishing one row, maybe Y is incremented by 150. Okay, let's see how we'll make it. Okay. Good, good. So this is good. This is what we wanted. Triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, da 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 da, da up to polygon 14. This is what we wanted. Maybe a little shifted to hmm, x is 150, maybe? OK. Maybe we can use a little thicker pen. OK, I hope you like it. Good. OK, this is good enough. Or can we write further? OK, but anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, I hope you could do it. So that's all for today. Homework, write the number of sides or vertices as polygon n besides the shape. So, okay, so here, polygon three, polygon four, polygon five, polygon six, something like that. Uh, maybe we can um, decrease this. Okay, anyway, be sure to come back with your homework results and see you again. Bye-bye.